Alright, yo, 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 what is up everybody, TVU here, back again in Lumber Tycoon 2, and I'm here to bring you a tutorial on how to make a auto chop saw, uh, sawmill station, basically, like a workstation. Um, yeah, it's uh, really good for people that have power build and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, this is my setup that I'll be... Uh, showing you guys how to build and hopefully it works out for you guys um, Yeah, I'll be posting a picture of all of the uh, items that you'll need right on the screen So check it out Give you a second to look at that and do, 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 Yep, all right, so <laughs> Are you guys ready to uh, start building this uh, auto chop saw? Uh, sawmill station All right so uh, I guess we're going to start beginning with uh, making like a staircase using these smooth walls right here. We have about five of those. So get about five of these smooth walls and find a place to start your workstation. Uh, I'm gonna place it right here. For now. Actually, let's move it a little bit. Right there. That's good. So place the first one like this and then grab another smooth wall place it right on like this basically making a staircase going up should be pretty easy to place uh, yeah we'll grab another smooth wall so this is our third smooth wall place it like that going up like that grab a fourth smooth wall put it up here so it's still going up and the fifth one, put it right here, just like that. So now we got like a nice staircase, right? Um, now we're gonna uh, get one of these large floors right here. This is gonna be like a platform up here, basically. Put this right like that, basically off the fifth step, like that. So it's just gonna be where you walk up and yeah. Um, now I'm going to grab two more of these large floors and place them right like this. So basically you have like three large floors, right? Um, we're going to put the uh, sawmill on this part right here. Let's see, grab the sawmill or sawmax, sorry, sawmax 02. That's the biggest saw uh, sawmill, but like not well, not the biggest, but second biggest. <clears throat> now we're gonna place the sawmill on here, the saw max on here, just like that. Or we will come up here, place the wood or logs inside here. The planks will pop out of this area, and uh, yeah, that's how it will be. So. You see it that it's pretty good. All right, so now um, that we got the saw max placed, we are gonna begin by getting some uh, uh, conveyors, straight conveyors, and we're gonna place them right on the saw max like this, boom, just like so. Grab another straight conveyor, place it just like this. It's gonna be kind of hard to place them, but just mess with it. There we go. Now get another straight conveyor. It's our third straight conveyor. So three straight conveyors, and then a fourth one right here. Put this straight conveyor right here, and there we go. We got four straight conveyors lined up like this with the direction going the right way like that perfect um, also I forgot to mention you'll need to set your uh, saw max or if sawmill whatever you want to use um, basically you gotta set X as 2 and Y as 1.8 um, this is a specific size that you need to set it to uh, for this uh, this auto chop saw setup basically um, so yeah, X is 2, Y is 1.8, those are the settings for the saw max, alright, um, 
Let's see. Now we're going to grab some of our small floors. Uh, we got three of these. I'm going to grab one. I'm going to bring it over here. It doesn't matter which side you put it on. I'm just going to put it on this side. Basically, you put it on the side of the conveyor, kind of hanging off like that, as you can kind of see. You know, just like that. Just like that. All right, now we're going to get another one, another one of these small floors. Bring it over here. Stack it right on top of that one. And get the third one. Do the same thing. All right, <clears throat> put it right here. There we go. All right, now what we're going to do is grab our chop saw right here. Chop saw, we're gonna place it right on top of these prints right here. Exactly on top of it, like that is perfect. And as you can see, it's like this, you know. Um, it'll cut the planks perfectly off the conveyor and all that good stuff. All right, so uh, now that we got our chop saw placed, what we're gonna do is grab our funnel conveyor. You can also use a straight conveyor, but I just use the funnel conveyor because uh, it just looks cool. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I think I gotta place it. It doesn't matter, I guess, like this. And then place it just like that. It should be pretty easy to place this onto the prints right there. And it has to be against right there here basically has like a little place where all the planks will get cut slide down and you know make sure that the funnel conveyor is directed down which this one is so we're good all right now what we will do is grab a lever right here and bring this right over here Put this right onto the chop saw like that with the connector facing the button. It won't look like it's connected, but you know, it works just to show you. And boom. So, yeah, it's good so far. You could also set up wires if you wanted to for it, but this is just you don't have to use a wire, so it's easier basically. All right, so now um, what I'm going to do is grab a post right here, this post right here. I'm gonna bring this right on the side of the straight conveyor, kind of like this, as you can see, just on the, like that. All right, now that I placed that post, um, what I'm going to do is grab a small tile oops, small tile right here bring this small tile we're gonna put this on this small tile facing like this right against the funnel conveyor uh, what, what what this is basically for is just to help us uh, make our track with the wires and stuff um, you'll see in a second but uh, yeah um, now just go get a log or a plank or whatever and just uh, put it inside the machine and the Solmax. It'll just come out. Basically this tile will stop it and it won't move around so that's good. Perfect. Just like that. Alright, now what we're going to do is grab a wire right here. Move this one. I'm going to put it on top of the straight conveyor right here at the end. And then I'm going to put it like that. Go to the plank, but don't try not to have the wire really touch the plank, but try to get it pretty close because it's good if it's at least a little bit close, but you don't want it too close. And then you just go all the way to the other side over here and put it on right here. Just don't block the place where the planks come out basically just put it on the side like this and then boom and boom that will create a smooth little rail basically making a track for it 
and let's get another wire on the other side. Uh, we're going to do the same thing at the end on the straight conveyor on top right here. I'm just going to do the exact same thing, put it as close, close to the plank but not too close. You just don't want the wire touching the plank basically just because it'll be too tight and it'll basically bug out or glitch out or just will get stuck basically. Um, but yeah, we just got to make sure it's not too close, which looks like it's it's okay. Then we go back over to this side on the Solmax. And we don't want to block the way where the planks come out, so we'll just put it on the side like this. Right here. And, oops. Put that like that. And my wire disappeared. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Sometimes things disappear in this game. I could just uh, reload my base, but uh, I'll, I think I'll just use an extra wire. I got one over here. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't supposed to happen, but it does happen because this game isn't perfect. But, you know. Alright, I'm going to replace this wire since it didn't, it just disappeared. <laughs> Sorry about this, people. Alright, put that like this. Um, then go over here. Do the same thing, just like this and like this. Boom. All right. So now what we have created basically is a track. Um, these wires are like the rails or walls, basically. Um, what they do basically is um, prevent the planks from moving side to side too much, because sometimes they'll do that if there is no wires or whatever and it stabilizes it a little bit um, yeah let me okay so now we're gonna grab another wire and this one is gonna be going on top of this area so do you see like over at the chop saw right over here um, basically at the very corner of the chops underneath the corner of the chop saw place the wire like on the blueprint or whatever right there and then boom, connect like that. Maybe a little bit higher. It has to be like right, kind of like on that corner, but like under it, sort of, of the chop saw, right? Right there should be okay. And I'm gonna turn around and gonna place it on this post on this side over here. It's gonna be right above the plank. We don't want it touching the plank or being inside of the plank or whatever. Gotta make sure it's just a little bit above the plank. I think that should be. That might be too low. Actually, it might be okay. I'll go a little bit higher just in case. Yeah, that should be good. And there you go, as you guys can see, just barely, there's like a little space right there. You can kind of see it. But uh, yeah, um, so basically what this wire uh, is for, is here for, is basically to prevent the plank from bouncing up and down. And, uh, you know, just stabilizing it, keeping it uh, more steady on the conveyor, and so that the chop saw can easily cut it without it moving so much you know and uh, yeah so now that we have that all pretty much in place everything is set we're gonna move this small tile that we placed right there the, that one we're gonna move this off of there and put it on the ground for now all right so now as you can see the plank is moving around but it's not really going anywhere because the wire on top is keeping it um, on uh, it's staying down and then the wires on the side are preventing it from bouncing side to side too much so yeah now we're gonna test this out and see if it cuts this plank all right are you guys ready to try the chop saw there we go and we're gonna pull the lever right there and it sounds like it's cutting oh there we go get some nice cuts right there and this is for power builders people that have power of ease or you know basically <laughs> it's a little it's not perfect but yeah <laughs> anyways 
Um, oh, let me show you guys that it does fill in the prints. I'll use a large floor print right here. I'm going to use the, this This looks like the thinnest plank, so boom. And there you have it. We filled in a uh, floor using our power ability. And um, yeah, so it works. Um, yeah, let me just delete this really quick. And also, one more thing. We're going to use this small tile. We're going to put this tile standing up inside of the Solmax. We're going to try to just get a good view like this, you know, the angle. And just kind of place it not too far in, but you want it to go like uh, right there maybe. As you can see, it's like inside a little bit of a way. Let me just... Basically, so it's like one, two, three, three spaces maybe? No, yeah, three spaces. Let me see if that works. Let me go get a log and test it out. There's also another way to do this um, with a, uh, what's it called, a hatch basically. But we're gonna just. Oh no, this might be too long. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I'll have to cut this off actually. Hi. Since this one is a smaller, solo. Put that in there. It should pop out. Yep. There we go. And there we there we go. And the wire, everything is set. It's good. Very nice. I could also put my truck right here. I could have done that. That would have been smart. <laughs> yeah. Let me just uh, clean up this mess really quick. Hold on. Boom. Boom. Um, basically I could have had my truck here and it would have been less of a mess and stuff because it could fit right underneath like that so yeah if you wanted to have it all just load into your truck sometimes things just don't cut but that's just the way it is hey it worked all right so uh yeah um that is the auto chop saw saw max or saw mill whatever um setup it's a just a station for people that have power build uh power of ease or you know whatever it's called but um basically the thing where you can fill in any print with a one by one this thing does not cut a perfect one by one but it does cut a perfect plank every time for a power builder basically it'll fill in your prints no problem and even if it lags it'll still cut the right size planks um, but if it lags it will be slow and it will take a long time so that's the only downfall you know there are still some minor problems you know this game is not perfect but it's pretty cool to have this though it helps uh, to build things pretty quickly um, you can do a lot more things with this, basically. Oh, just make sure you guys have the saw max set to X is 2, Y is 1.8. Just make sure you remember that because that's very important. Um, also, you can uh, make a bigger uh, auto saw, auto chop saw, sawmill setup like this one where it has the, the biggest uh, saw max in the game or sawmill this thing right here saw max 2 l um, basically just a couple extra conveyors a couple extra wires not much added but it's just better for work if you have a bigger one so yeah I just did the small one because it's easier quicker and cheaper to build and make and yeah and uh, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, tutorial on how to make my 
auto saw, auto chop saw, uh, saw max uh, station. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot of words to uh, heard in my brain. All right. <laughs> so before we go, I'm going to go get some wood. No, I don't know. Well, I'll be back in a second. All right, so I'm back and we'll just fully uh, test this uh, workstation out. The auto chop saw, saw max station. Let's go put the log, use our staircase and bring this up here. Put this in our machine and it should plank out. Boom, just like so, nice on track. Oh yeah, it's cutting, it's going good and it's dropping right into our truck. See, so this is what basically, it's pretty cool. It's pretty amazing. And you don't have to do anything. You don't have to cut the wood. I mean, of course, if it's end times wood, you do, you will have to cut it yourself. But, uh, yeah. Just watch that. It's amazing. is perfect basically it's like an auto loader too pretty much all right so i hope you guys all enjoyed this uh tutorial on how to make uh auto chop saw sawmill setup um for power builders anyways if this all uh, helped you guys out and uh whatever uh, please don't forget to uh, like subscribe hit that bell button do all that shenanigans and uh yeah I shall see you all later, and peace for now. Yo, buddy. I get around. I get around.